Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Tommy from the Free Stuff Show podcast. And this is the Cujo Control CC810 Remote Training Collar. We received one free in exchange for our evaluation. And today, we're going to open the box and give you our honest review. Cujo Control currently makes two dog training products, a no bark collar and a dog training collar with remote. The CC810 is the latest version of the training collar. When we received this one, we gave it a try. We sure did. We also tried it on my dog. The CC810 is a dog obedience training device capable of delivering three types of disciplinary actions, including a high-pitched auditory tone the dog can hear, a vibrating action the dog can feel, and a stimulation the dog can feel, or more precisely, an electric shock. According to the company, it's a safe but annoying stimulation, and is proven safe. The kit contains everything you need for assembly, including an adjustable collar, a radio-controlled receiver unit, a remote radio transmitter, two sets of contact points, and a small tool for assembling the contacts with a built-in light to serve as a tester. It even includes the batteries. The collar can be adjusted or trimmed to fit almost any size dog. The receiver unit attaches to the collar and against the underside of the dog's neck. The receiver has two metal contact points. These contact points rest directly on the skin of the neck. The receiver is controlled by the remote radio transmitter, which looks and feels like a small two-way radio without the mic and speaker. According to the specs, it has a range of up to 300 meters, or about 984 feet. It is equipped with a small blue backlit LCD display and a set of buttons to control the tone and type and intensity of the vibration or shock stimulation. The CC810 allows up to 16 levels of shock and vibration. When activated by the transmitter, the receiver delivers a response for as long as the button is pressed, up to a maximum of 10 seconds. Both the transmitter and receiver operate on two AAA alkaline batteries. Four batteries are included with the kit two for each device. The package also includes a 31-page operating and training guide. It's full of information like assembly instructions, training procedures, helpful tips, and safety warnings. It's also full of typos. We tested the CCA-10 on my dog Cosmo. The results were interesting. The manual suggested we start at the lowest level and work up to find his level of tolerance to the vibration and shock. There was no reaction at level 1, but he began to respond to the vibration around level 4 and the stimulation or shock at level 5, so we kept it there for a while. Following instructions in the manual, we first tested the tone on Cosmo. He could hear it, and the first time we used it, he did respond, but after that, he ignored it. Next, we tried using vibration. The first time really startled him. We tried it a few more times, and Cosmo responded to our commands. Each time we used it with a command, he was rewarded with a treat. After a while, he became used to the vibration and began to ignore us. Tommy raised it to level 6, and he began to respond to our commands again. And then we tried the stimulation. Or as I call it, the zapper. Cosmo didn't like it at all. After a zap or two at level 5, he was really upset with us and wanted to go back in the house. So we stopped using it and stayed with the vibration instead. After removing the receiver collar from Cosmo, Tommy and I decided to check the stimulation for ourselves. We took turns placing the tips of our fingers on the contact points and then pressing the button on the transmitter. We didn't feel anything at levels 1 and 2, but I felt a little tingle at level 3. Then we both tried level 6. It was a strong jolt. It reminded me of a medical TENS unit that was set a little too high. We decided not to take it to level 16. In summary, the Cujo Control Remote Training Collar is best suited for young, healthy dogs with little or no previous obedience training. The transmitter is simple to use and works well in close range. The company claims a maximum range of 300 meters, but we didn't test the coverage. There was no FCC ID sticker on the transmitter, and no information on the frequency band or wattage. Range depends on a number of variables, including terrain, nearby obstructions, interference, atmospheric conditions, and the quality of the antenna. 
As licensed ham radio operators, based on our experience, we can say that your range may vary. The receiver is a bit of a mix. Like the transmitter, it is simple to operate. The trick is to be sure it is attached to the collar, positioned on the dog's neck, and operated correctly. The kit we received included two pairs of contact points for the receiver, one short and one long. The manual didn't specify which set to use, so we chose a shorter pair. The tone function is not very loud. The receiver is close to the dog's ears, and dogs do hear well, so volume probably doesn't matter. The vibration function is quite robust, and at higher levels can even be heard. As for the zapper, while somewhat mild at very low settings, it is capable of delivering a surprisingly strong shock if set too high. Although Cujo Control claims the device is safe, I have some reservations, especially if the collar is used carelessly or abused. It may be needed for larger dogs, but for some smaller canines like Cosmo, the vibration function is probably sufficient. The Cujo Control Remote Training Collar is not a toy. It's a serious training device and should be used responsibly. Used improperly or abused, it could make your dog frustrated, distrustful of you, or even angry. It could possibly even hurt your pet. However, in the right hands, it could be an efficient and effective dog obedience training tool. So there you go. This has been a review of the Cujo Control CCA10 Remote Training Collar. We'd like to thank Cujo Control for sending us a free sample to review. You can find the Cujo Control CCA10 at CujoControl.com. You can watch our other reviews on our website at TheFreeStuffShow.com. You can also subscribe to our podcast at TheFreeStuffShow.com or at iTunes, Blueberry.com, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play. I'm Rick. And I'm Tommy. Thanks for watching.